Hello trophy hunters, I'm going to walk you through the one slick super spy trophy. This can only be done during Leon's playthrough. Now in order to get the trophy during Ada's section, you have to only use the EMF visualizer. You cannot use a handgun at all. So when you start off the section, try climbing up the ladder, you can't, and then you're going to be, be given the EMF visualizer. It's basically a series of little hacking mini games. So right off the bat, we're going to turn on the power, we're going to aim at it and then hit R2 to uh, activate the power and then do the same thing on the fan itself. So we blew it up. We now have an opening we can crawl through. And that's basically the premise. We're going to be doing several of that along the way. Now we cannot use a handgun. So we're going to have to do some avoidance of the zombies. First one's going to be up ahead. But first we need to turn on the power to this fan. And then destroy the fan itself. So you find the power box and then you can destroy the object. There's always an A and a B. So when you jump down here, be careful. There is one zombie here, although he's incredibly slow. So jump down and then look for this little device. Turn that on. We can now exit through this door. Now this is kind of the most dangerous part of this entire segment. Once we come down here, you're going to see a, a little elevator, a little lift right there. I just ran past it. The premise here is we need to turn on the power to that. So we're going to continue running around. Uh, run, be careful of that one zombie, then run to the left side of this container, and you're going to see a red light in front of us. It's a hydrant. We're going to run past, straight past that and kind of go up to this railing over here, and then there's going to be a power source right in front of us. So use your hacking tool, the visualizer, to turn that on. Now be careful of that zombie in this one right up ahead. If you can get past these two, you should be able to make the elevator without too much issue. So we're heading back, that's the orange container, and then you can see the power is now onto this. Now there may be a zombie coming and meeting you right at that point, so be careful. If he does bite you, don't worry too much. If, as long as you can get onto the lift, you should be fine from this point. Now we're gonna go through this door, turn left. And, and turn left again, and then there's gonna be another uh, puzzle here, so look for the power source to the right. Once we've activated this, we're gonna open the door first before we interact with that other device. Go through the door and I'm gonna turn around and look up and to the left if I can find it. And then hit that to reroute the power. It'll reroute the power to this fan here which we are now gonna destroy. Once that's done, drop down through here. We're gonna go straight in front of us from when we fall down. Now this point forward, it's not too difficult. There is one kind of main puzzle that can be a little confusing. So we're gonna go up the stairs here to the right and we're gonna pull a lever. It's right here. Now there's a door that's gonna be right below us in front of us there that's going to open up. So we're gonna go in there and it's gonna be an incinerator. This is basically gonna be a trap. So we're gonna hack, hack our way out of this. From this point forward, you won't have to worry about using your handgun. There's no uh, reason to use it at this point. But we're going to pick up this ID bracelet. We're going to need that to get through another door. I'm going to skip the cutscene here. All right, so now she's going to talk to us. She's going to try to burn us alive. Now, what we're going to do is hack three different power sources. And between each of them, destroy the three devices that's holding the door closed. So as soon as this incinerator turns on, we have a minute. So hit the bottom left corner here. And once you turn that on, go to the door lock and we're gonna destroy that. Now we're gonna find a second power source just to the right of where that first one was and then destroy the door lock. And then the third one is gonna be to the right, in the middle of the right wall here. Reroute that power and destroy the third door lock. Now we're going to go out the way we came in. That bitch knows what she's doing. And instead of going back up those stairs, we're going to go through this door here. Turn left. And we'll be okay once we make it into this next section here. We're going to turn right. And we're eventually going to get to this little bridge that's in the center of this section. Once you get here, a cutscene will be initiated. You have met the requirements for the One Slick Super Spy Trophy if you got here without using your handgun. Enough. And then as Leon, soon as you gain control of Leon, you? the trophy should pop just momentarily. There it is. Thank you for watching. Hit that like button and subscribe.